days until the next comic, which has a serious debut. That's very important. So I thought I'd start with that. That's very important. Okay, Garth, what would you like to say? Well, I'd like to say just overall, uh, before we get to any uh, questions or comments, uh, maybe we can go into some of the things that we liked, uh, we like about the comic. Okay. And, and we can compare and contrast some of the things that we noticed that are okay. following the original canon and altering it as well. Okay, so first of all, who here likes the comic? Okay, who here doesn't like the comic or has discrepancies with this comic? No one? Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Do it! Do it! Do it. Okay. We like people that have, we want to have a discussion, a real discussion, because this comic is a little bit controversial because it's newly updated. So, there's a lot of different things that we have to consider that could be, some people think it's good, some people think it's bad, regarding perhaps the diversity of body types. So some people really like that, some people can identify, they're like, hey, good times, I'm like, you know, a full figured woman and I can see myself represented in this comic. And some people are like, shh, it's supposed to be about fantasy, right? I don't wanna see that. I know there are people that have these opinions, I've heard them. So what do you guys think about this? I'm opening it to you guys. Okay, I'll jump out on that one. Ironically, I suppose. Um, <laughs> it's funny how they try to diversify the body types of the main characters, but the different figures that they gave the main characters, it still wasn't Jim, really, kind of, and it still wasn't his ass. They still gave the different body types to the, to like, you know, the characters that weren't the, the supporting characters, not the like right. Jim, Zaz, or like Brian. Right, so are they really, really saying embrace these different body types by giving it to the people who weren't the main characters? They're saying, yes, you can see this, but it's still not completely acceptable because it's not main characters. But the thing, okay, so here's the thing though. In the Gem comic, it's Kimber that's a skinny, skinny. Gem still looks, okay, she doesn't look like, she doesn't look like a supermodel. She still looks like she has curves on her. She doesn't look itty bitty like Kimber. Like Kimber would be the, like, the ideal body type. Yeah, a lot of truth. What? Five, what nine, super skinny. But she, yeah. yeah, but Gem, but Gem if, is super tall. Gem but is like if, if you notice, back to Gem of Pizzazz. Jem is far more curvier. She's a, li a little bit more voluptuous than the Sass tends to be more, you know, al almost boxy, sort of but like. She's, but that's kind of, they have to draw, she's, she's sharp, she's angular. She's, mm -hmm. you have to cut yourself on the Zaz. So that's, you know, if, if she had the voluptuous, they wouldn't have the same. Correct, no, I, I agree, so but, I, but again, it's, 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 it's still, even though our two main characters, Sorry, then I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. They're not two hot pieces of asses like we all wanna see. Yeah. You still have your two different, you know, so I'm still giving it kudos for not making the two main ones. The skinny. The, correct, correct. It's like the Jetta. Cut, the Jetta top. of the Misfits is the skinny one, yeah. the tall skinny one, that's Jetta. The tall skinny one in the, um, <clears throat> wow. Over. In the hologram, right, the hologram, right. right. that's Kimber. Yeah. And, in, and in like the Stingers, it's Minx, but Rapture is still. Like, so they are sort of, they're, is I, what, I, what, I, what I love about the comic is that they're giving you every single type, and at the same time, they're making it cute, they're making it attractive, they're not giving you, you know, like people were bent out of shape about Stormer, because that was the biggest everybody all bent out of shape, uh, that she was the bigger girl of everybody. But I, my point was, yeah, she was a big girl, but in every single page in that stupid comic, she was the only one that she was always on point, always fixed up. She was always the cutest. Her hair was amazing the whole totally time. True. Absolutely. And, and she really looks cute. Like they always draw Stormer so cute, like yeah, all the time. And, and no matter who's no, doing exactly. it, it's exactly. And it's like Kimber's always, always like, oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. So it helps. I feel like people reading that definitely, if they didn't already have that idea, it helps definitely promote it to be like, you can come at this and think, look, you can be beautiful. So maybe if you didn't have that idea already, you can get that idea. Because Kimber, I love how Kimber's like, she's so beautiful, oh my god. And I remember in the first comic, she's like, oh, she's out of my league. Kimber, this gorgeous, skinny, like top 10 modeling, she's like, Stormer's out of her league. 
which I'm like, that was a very, I thought that statement was so poignant, so important. It really like makes you think. It's powerful. It was very powerful. I really like, I felt like very strongly about that. So, but I see what you're saying too. I definitely see, like they didn't make the main characters. Does, do, does anyone feel like the idea of what Jim in the comic book looks like is lost to the fact that Jim is actually a half foot taller as a hologram than Jericho actually is? You mean like the fact that she's a hologram and it doesn't seem... It's not a hologram more. band member. I'm talking about the image. Like that seems like even more But the, they, they, they said that they're going to address that later on the, on the, on the Right, topic. so even if she's not the, soup, the model type, yeah. even if that isn't what she physically looks like, and we're finding all of the good things about the model type not being what she is, do, does anybody feel like however that could be a positive is lost on the fact that it's so physically different from the physical body that Jared really I don't is. think so. I think that that is a positive thing. I think that lends itself well to the fact that she's a hologram because Rio is supposed to, like all the time we're like, doesn't how does Rio yeah, have she, she looks so much different. Yeah. She's like that's, so that's tall exactly. and she's I like so that. like uh, totally different. She doesn't look anything like Jerrica and I think that's why they did it because in the cartoon, she looks so similar, like it's like she's the same and wig and makeup. makeup. But yeah. this is like, she's a foot taller and she's curvier. I think she's, is she curvier? Yes, than yeah, she's way curvier. She's there. curvier yeah. than Jerrica too. Mm -hmm. And her nose is different. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't well, like the I think part of it, like, the reasoning for it is different, because like on the show, it wasn't about like, oh, I'm shy, I need a persona to have this outlet or whatever. It wasn't like that at all. It was just like, hey, we found this thing, let's do this. But in the comic, it's, the, the reasoning is different, too, mm -hmm. which I think might affect that. What bothers me about the holographic disguise is I always felt like it should be flush to the character. Like it should be in that, it should match, like, like Jericho should, the hologram should be the same proportions as Jericho. So now that the gem hologram is a foot taller, it's like, oh, okay, so can have her in chest or something. Like, like yeah, what's going to happen when like, she's, like, kissing? Yeah, like, the, well, the it happened already. already. And they, oh, with Rio. Yeah, right. and then, yeah. And then yeah. the good thing is, was that they were sitting down. Right, sitting right. down, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so they, they said they're going to address the, the whole shenanigan of the different height uh, through the comic. And you saw already that people were complaining that why Jem is not more in the comic, and they already saw that, oh, Jerry got slowly keeping herself as Jem through the comic longer and longer and longer and longer. See, that's what, another thing I want to address, like, it's Jem in the Holograms book. Jem is, like, fairly present yeah. in the comic. Which I guess is what you're saying. Like they, they're building it up. They're building it up, which is awesome because when are they? When is Jem gonna come out the most? With Riot in the Stingers arc. <laughs> that's right. So that's very cool. So that's where you're gonna get the most Jem because, as you can see, she's like having a hard time distinguishing between, or not necessarily distinguishing, but deciding on how much she wants to be Jem versus how much she wants to exist as Jerica, Right. So that's definitely gonna play out soon. In four days. <laughs> four days, guys. Four days. Just count it down. Well, also one of the things I want to bring up, building on what you brought up about the diversity of body types, mm -hmm. was one of the things I appreciate about the comic that's significantly different than the show is the representation of LGBT themes. Mm -hmm. They can only hint at it on the show. I think the episode that I remember that that brought up most was Riot's hope, with Riot being a sensitive kid, who like no. And, the, and those kind of things that you know made, made him different, and that and that was a, a sticking point. But they could never address it directly. So then, in, in developing the Kimber and Stormer relationship, and even I'm pretty sure I've read this where you can take out Aja being bisexual, yeah, sure, 100%. and uh, both Blaze being a transgender character. They've introduced all these themes in a way that I feel it honors the original show, but goes where they couldn't originally. Mm -hmm. It's so updated. It's so like diversified. Like anyone can relate. Like I feel like this is for the new generation, and so many people are on board with this comic. So many people that never even watched the show. Mm -hmm. And that is what we need as the Jet franchise. That's what is important. Because I know this, we're not talking about the movie. The movie flopped, and that's another story, whatever. But the comic, the reason why I think it's being so successful is because it's updated and anybody can relate to this. And it's such a wonderful way even to get kids to introduce this aspect to kids because it's so important to let them know that there is different representations of sexuality and even gender. And I think that that's just 
it's just becoming such a such a normalcy, a normalcy. So in our society, it's great to have a representative. And Jen, like, is the forerunner. But even the guys have different type, body types. Yes, even, even like she and his boyfriend. The same which you know what? Type. Can I just yeah. say, like, when you first see that bartender, what's his name again? It's, it's oh, it's like Anthony, Tony, Anthony, Tony, Anthony, 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 yeah. So he was like, he looked different, and then they made him like a little chubby. Well, you only saw him from here so up. I looked yeah. at that. I was looking because I remember being like, what? What happened? And I remember going back <laughs> and being like, no, 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 he does not look like that. I walked. I was like. But then they made him, so that's good. Maybe it was like an outfit boy. But I mean, that's wonderful to see that too. Absolutely. Yeah, and I really love Craig. Craig's really hot, guys. He's like the hottest one out there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think he's hotter than Driver, I think. We'll have to see. Oh, wait, he probably is, because that art for like Meredith Claren. We'll get to that. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. So, okay, so regarding pros and cons, um, something also like. Okay, Jam was in the cartoon, obviously, even in the movie, music is such a huge aspect. And um, the, I guess one of the cons is the fact that while they're trying, the music aspect doesn't necessarily come through as well as it could. I mean, how can they make it come through with the comic? But I feel that that's something that's a little lacking. And I wonder how you guys, what do you guys feel? How would that? you? Oh, I don't know. There's no way I don't. I don't even know. But I'm just saying. I, I think, you know, the problem with comics <laughs> yeah. is that you only have pretty much of a, of a half hour episode. Yeah. On a comic, you're getting five minutes of that so, half hour but episode. But you know what I also feel? Like in the cartoon, they were able to do these videos that kind of told the story sometimes. When they're doing the concerts, it's always concerts, and it's just like them on the stage with these words flying around them. But perhaps they could show images that told the story in panels that would relate to the song, and that would help it to look more like a video. And I feel like that would be more true what? to how the cartoon is, so that's how I would do it. But you, as a new person, never know Jen. Yeah. Opening that comic, and yeah. all of a sudden you're like reading through, and all of a sudden, boom, they start singing in the middle of the thing. But I mean, singing it's a, like a, a comic. Video it's of, like, yeah. I know, but how would you, how would you thought process this? Is it really hard for us? For us, it's normal, because yeah. we, we've seen that. We, we're, we're almost expecting it. Yeah. Like, oh, there's a situation, oh, cue, right. uh, back in shape, or cue, right. uh, make a mission. But for a new generation who, who are just introduced in the comic, they probably have never a YouTube jam, or they never have seen a full episode. How would you translate that to I them? would just be like, oh, we're making a video. Because these people still know videos. People know videos. People still make videos. So it would just be like it's a music video. Done. Like, it's easy. It's a music video. They're I, singing the song. They're a band. It makes sense. But they're starting. How do you, are you going to... They just made their first music video. Yeah, but that music video that they made was just like... Again, they are having a con... It's not very interesting. It's not interesting. They're just singing on, singing on a stage. They could have, like, in the in the comics or in the cartoon, something that tells a story. And I think that would help to make more sense of the song, and they could do, I just think that would help it to, like, mesh well. I kind of wish IDW would, would, I don't know, do sort of like they did with the show and employ people to do music so that you could get, like, a little download in, like, two minutes. That would be amazing. Well, that would be really good. It would add, like, another dimension to the comic, you know what I mean? Yes. So you could get yes. it every, every month, yeah. like, oh, cool, I'm going to enter the code and, and could be sounds. like interactive. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a that'd great be idea. Amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> that'd be amazing. Yeah. They could do that. Write them a letter. Yeah, yes. do that. Write them a letter. You should write them a letter. Yeah. 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 They've addressed that a little bit in the like letters to the editor. Yep. You know, um, this was back in the like first first six issues or whatever. I remember they talked about that. And at that time, they said there were no plans for that. But it keeps coming up, it seems like, in the, the Q&A there. Well, they keep bringing yeah. it up themselves, they choose yeah. to print that, right. that could be somewhat of a hint as to where they're planning on going with it. Yeah. Or at least they are respecting that. But again, us as fans are wanting us, we want to see the stories that we saw back in the days in the comic, and we're not... Sometimes. We're, we're being antsy sometimes about it, and we're always. being, we're wanting it to see it right away, and we don't want to see the build-up, that's the problem. We don't want to see Jim in the comic, because one, st one story arc might take a whole bunch of it's true. issues. It has, like and, Dark Jam. And we don't want that. We want to do it bam, 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 right then and there. Well, who's to say? I, I like to see the story unfold. I want to see all the intricacies. To me, that's very important. I mean, especially with the Stingers. I, 
I'm like, you know, you guys know I'm a huge singer fan. I want to see every little thing. Like, where is that car? What kind of car are they driving? What is Ryan eating? What is, like, I would be able to sit there and look at each and every panel. And every little panel is going to be so important to me. And I guess people that have their favorite characters, their favorite band, they can do the same thing. The longer it takes, the better. That's what I think. Because yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, I want to see how, how the hell Ray is going to flip from your thing or to holograms. Yeah, I mean, how about easy, easy easy? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I think they're gonna mail that. I'm gonna mail that stinker, Ray, a stinker for quite some time. I don't know. I feel. Yeah, I wonder. Like, how much is a story? A story arc is five at five issues. Yes. It's really it depends. It depends. Well, I, they're not gonna be the stingers in the yeah, like top. Okay, like the fact they're getting five, like hallelujah. But I'd say it's gonna maybe be two, two issues.
that no matter how much shit they go through each other, how much they hate each other's guts, they love each other. They know that they are essential to each other and they complete each other. Because if that was the case, they wouldn't go begging to storm to come back to the back. They wouldn't have slapped his ass in the face and say, get your shit together, Riot is not about everything for you. They wouldn't even, they would have kicked Jedi left there on, on England and fly back, even so, okay. though the 20 pounds I, of lies, I get that. and even taught Roxy how to read. <laughs> but how long did you stress that? Oh, <laughs> I would like to see background stories of Roxy yeah, back in Philly. Like, I want to see the, 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 the relationship like, between backstory. Stormer and Greg. I want to see how the possessive of her daddy issues. Have, okay, never mind. <laughs> now you see? No. I'm, the no, Mr. Oh, Purple is that. as like, essential to the Gem cartoon as I'd say more so than the Stingers, obviously. But like, Gem is, like they're the same. Like They're both essential. So, I mean, Gem could exist without the Misfits, and why can't the Misfits exist without Gem? We don't There's even still know that Gem will not be. Pardon me? We don't know that, that, that Gem and Autumn will not correct, be. Correct, correct. Well, Kimber yeah, is, they will be is her girl, like, so her girlfriend, so there's Yeah, the universe the is like intertwined. Yeah. So she can show many cameos and blah, 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 and you know. <laughs> and even the stingers will too. Yay, stingers. <laughs> so I, I know, of course, I know okay. this would never happen, but I, I I talked to this about Christy Marks a couple years ago, I think it was in Toronto, but Emmett Benton is so fascinating. He's like a Da Vinci. It's like he's yes. He's, yes. Oh he's such, such a genius. Such a genius. Backstory. So I, I always thought like there should be more backstory about him because he's so fascinating and he sets up this world really. And um, you know, I know they would never do like an Emmett Benton spin-off comic, but it's just like you know, it would be cool to know more about his Origins and how this came to be, and like why was well, he, why did he want to do something? They're giving you like almost like yeah, yes, yeah. like little drug addiction okay. here and there of, of how they're gonna build up to. Because first it was like, oh my god, your dad is uh, you know it's Iron Man, uh, he's my boss, <laughs> my man of his things. And then they did the flashback of uh, how who the pool? Who yeah. the pool? It was in the pool. They did it with um, Jackie who, Benton. Who was it? Who fell in the pool? Then, then Jericho, right? Jericho fell in the pool. Yes, and, she and then realized, it was a flashback. And yeah, she saw his yeah. energy in her mother. Because that's when like, he was. We're the same. We were like the same. And then it like. And the beauty of it is that at that point, Jackie was aware in the comic that he's creating synergy. So that's even more for me. It's more profound than 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 on the show because the show everybody was oblivious. What well, except for apparently except for Rio. Um, that he was. Taking I didn't get that. That Jackie was. Jackie, you say, was aware of it at the point. Yeah, she was telling him, "You need to stop." Oh, but know, she didn't know. Like she, I would. Just, I was just assuming that he was involved his, with his work, mm -hmm. and that she was just like. I mean, no, I didn't but know. She, she addressed that. Is he's having the same problem again? And that's when she told him, "You need to get out of there." It's. Okay. I was assuming it was just work. Huh? Correct. See? See? Yeah. That what? It was it's your daughter's birthday, you need uh, to come back yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. Of course. But I don't know if it was that she knew it was synergy. Now you're gonna make me pull that arc again and read it. No, I just reread well, it. I just, just read some it. questions that maybe they could. Yeah, but I'm sure that that can yeah, that's like definitely awesome that they're <laughs> sort of giving somewhat of the backstory but fleshing it out mm -hmm. more. Because I know everyone like loved that story. I'm like so not on board with that. It's so gushy gushy. I know. Like, I'm <laughs> singers all the time. Why, 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 why do you think it's gushy gushy? Well, it is. I mean, when you, I think it's, I, I mean, people like it. So why not give the people what they like? It's fine. It's good. I, 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 I want to I think it's gushy yes. gushy because like it. it's because of, you know, the family and it's, you guys know because you know the the sentimental value where her father mm -hmm. mother died and it's just the present and and now she's like you know it's so loving and and again Kimber's left out can we mention that but <laughs> <laughs> but can I just also say these guys are so condescending to Kimber they're always calling her sweetie oh sweetie sweetie calm down sweetie they think they like totally just think she's like a total nut which she is. But they're always just like, oh, sweetie. I just found like, did you notice how many times they call her sweetie? It's very condescending. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Oh, yeah, Kimber is my favorite of the comic so far. I mean, other than the stingers. But like, Kimber's awesome. Kimber's so good. I never cared about Kimber. I never cared. You guys know. I mean, my friends. <laughs> like, I never cared about Kimber. She's like the best one in the comic. She like looks, her clothes are awesome, and she's just. She, I feel like she's like me. She's like a total nutbar. <laughs> like all around, flailing all around. Like she has well, no idea what's going on. That's the, like I was telling Raven, 
Kimber is the baddest of the holograms, and Storm is the goodest of yeah, the space. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's why we're we're building up this this yeah. people who are pretty good two shoes. They're like, oh, Kimber is kind of like my bad side, and people who are have a mean streak are like, oh, I guess Storm is kind of like my sweet side of yeah. all things. Cool. And yeah. we that's where we all come together on that those two. Yeah. So I I personally thought, even though people were up in arms when they declared them as a couple. I know what I'm saying. I, I, I thought, mean, that was years ago. We all knew this. It was yeah, like already. It was in the. But for me, it made so much perfect sense. sense. Okay. And 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 they were like, and they still made made Kimber a Uchi. She was a Uchi back oh, yeah, in the totally. 80s. And she still did. Yeah, she's, she's crazy girls. about girls. Yeah, girls. No, and she, I think. Did, was there ever a touch on that she was blind? No, she's all. Aja. It's Aja. Okay, Aja's so cool too. And Shane is so forgettable. Sorry guys, but she is like so, so forgettable. And Jerica's like, I guess Jerica's really, really Jerica. She's like super boring. We were in that car, but I'm like, Jerica's boring. I like Kimber, I like Aja, I like Craig with the big bunch. Rio, guys, Rio. Come on, let's talk about Rio. What the heck? He is such an upstanding citizen, right? I have to say, Rio is the most improved. Right? Everyone yes. loves Rio. Yes. 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 He's definitely the most yeah. improved. He has morals. From he's the like, yeah. to the comic, he is the most improved. Yeah. Definitely. He has, he's 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 like has his own reason. world. Like, he's got a reason to keep the plants as <laughs> like, 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 put it back, guys. Like, that was like the yeah. funniest. He's like, oh, sorry. Which is like so funny. So yeah. hilarious. I kind of thought Dumber Rio was kind of hot, but. Well, I feel like I was not I feel like Dumber Rio was kind of hot. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 Conversations. It's a pleasure to read because it's just like as actual, like you're actually talking to them or watching them just conversate mm -hmm. with each other, and it's just brilliant. Like all the idiosyncrasies, it's like written just how people would speak the flow, and I just yeah. think that's wonderful. I really enjoyed that so much. Um, I like how the writers are paying attention to those little details, like kicking the plant. It's it almost is like they're researching yeah. the forum boards and reading what what the fans are talking yes. about, and they're like, "Hey, really like this? Let's incorporate it." The Easter eggs are beautiful. Yeah, like every, stickers, every single comic has an Easter egg. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's part of the appeal is that you know they, they really get the hardcore fans, but you know they're telling the story and, and bringing the new fans too. Though. And I think that's one of the reasons too why, and not to get too much into any movie talk, but it's why the comic is doing better than the movie because well, they found a way of. The, they screw the poor guy, the director from get go. Come on, Hasbro gave what like twenty thousand millions to for Transformers and Joe. And, oh, here's five mil for you. Just have fun with that. So uh, we're, we're we're trying to rip him apart for the movie. Can we should have talked about it. Shutting this down. Yeah. 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 Movie can tomorrow, but, but I agree with you. It's not like, in, But just you know, wondering why overall, like yes. the, the, the 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 way they're doing the comic was more successful. Just yes. Like, mm -hmm. But I think you said it exactly right because both of you said something yeah. to that, that that somehow. They, the common people, in, in its update, got the essence of why we love Gem and Ram from there with all the detail work and stuff, mm -hmm. as opposed to mm -hmm. not getting the essence. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yay. So, guys, let's talk about the Stingers and Meredith McLaren. Okay, so let me ask y'all. Okay, hey, y'all know about this Meredith McLaren, right? Who here enjoys this art? Does anyone like her artwork, Meredith McLaren? I just think I've seen I, enough of it to have an opinion on it. I, I have to agree with you. Because, like, I, that is the most disgusting I, thing I've ever I seen. Think, <laughs> I think. I, 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 it's disgusting. It's disgusting. But what I've seen of it, it's disgusting. But what I've seen it's, of it, there <laughs> is other artwork that I favor. <laughs> Yeah, I personally think that a gem comic should be fun with Sophie from or the start. Or even Jen Bartel. Yeah, like from, they've had other and artists. Start, yeah, start to end. She she pretty much iconized she this. She did. Yes. But she's leaving. So get someone else on board. You know, it doesn't even need to be Jen Bartel. It doesn't even need to be another artist that they've featured. It could be anybody. Just why this person? Sorry, I'm like really. This is like the most horrifying thing in my life right now. Which oh. makes my life amazing because it's really fun. <laughs> But like honestly, I'm actually devastated. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. But that's just like, but that's just like the.
comics thing, though. I mean, like, like Batman is like this. No. I mean, you can read one no. art, and the artist can change yeah. mid-art, and it's like, oh, I don't want this. No, I don't, it's, it's fine. fine. You can change the artist. I don't care about that. Why do you have to make it the worst ever? Like, <laughs> anime, like, I'm, not even, I'm fine with anime art. It's not like I have a problem with anime, but just this artist. For those of you who don't know what this art looks like, I don't know if you're familiar with the name Gorillas, but um, that's what the artist What's it, the artist's name for gorillas? What's his name, do we know? I forget his name. But he also worked on Tank Girl, Jenny Hewlett. So his art is very much that, and it's really awful and disgusting. I wish I could show you a picture if you don't already know. Because Jenny is supposed to be even colorful, in the midst, like colorful and poppy, exciting, and cute, just feminine. And, yeah, yeah. and not this lack of anything. It's I need to see, I can only have the latest one, but I don't think I read it yet. The latest one doesn't have it yet. It's new. It's in four days. Four days. It, they released the cover. Well, I actually have an advanced copy, but I've yet to read it because I'm waiting for the organic. I can show it to you. I'll, I can show it to you. I can't send it to you, but I can show it to you. Um, I have been, <laughs> hey, too much. I haven't read it read it because I need the here. Look, Ari. Yeah, look, Ari. Boo, hits, boo, hits. But it's um, yeah, four days. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? I'm not exaggerating. Like that, that, it doesn't that, get that, any that, better that, than that. It doesn't get better. Are, it actually yeah, looks like that. That's how it is in the yeah. book. Like that's how they're making it. Yeah. For the, all of the stingers. The entire arc of the stingers is this stupid ass artist. I, oh my god! I, 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 would, I, would, I would venture to say, I'm gonna be the counterpoint. I'm gonna be the counterpoint. The counterpoint is this discussion that I, 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 I agree that I need to see more before I can make a judgment because sometimes it, it, it might take getting used to, but it's an alternate take, it's a different style, it's a very different kind of aesthetic. So I'm like, okay, I need to read it through before I can make see, a decision on it. Isn't that what you say about the movie too? Well, <laughs> I like the movie. I like the movie. But I, 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 I have to agree with Lana 100% because I just not read Jim, I read Transformers, I read other stuff from my W, Turtles, and they have done that kind of stuff. And when you're reading um, more than meets the eye, which it was, they were, what they were doing is they were fusing two artists in the same comic. So you will read uh, one panel, had a complete one artist, and then what they were trying to flip it to what the other, what was happening on the other side, it was a different artist. And I will find myself more attractive to the one style. And when I will go to the other one, I'm like, Burr. And then I'll be like, Ooh, But at least then you get, you get to have two versions. This is just one. I know, and my point is, I will be like, okay. I like seriously have like explored the idea of actually having someone just send me the transcript without seeing the art, because oh. that's how much. Because the writing's going to be amazing. Thank God it's still Kelly Thompson, because like clap clap to her in the writing. But honestly, I just don't want to see that art, or maybe just see yeah. the thing first and then go to the art, because I don't want to have to ruin it, because it'll be ruined. But I mean, okay, that's enough about that. Okay, what else are you going to say? You go to buy a comic store, you look at the art first. Like, yes, you, you look at the art. Right? I'm a Wonder Woman fan, and I can't buy the wall. So I'll go and look, and I'll be like, which art is best, and I'll buy right? that. Right, exactly. And that, yeah. okay, so that really brings me back again. So she's doing the cover art, which is fine, I guess. But in addition to her awful, disgusting, horrible <laughs> style, the um, what I've seen for the forthcoming books, comics, it's just, the next one is like Wyatt's t-shirt, it's just a white t-shirt with a B on it, which people that don't know Jem, they're not going to know what the hell that is, it's not like they're going to be attracted to Wyatt, so in my, in my eyes, I mean, although I'm definitely biased, I feel like she's ruining the Jem comics popularity, because no one's going to be attracted to Wyatt, just someone with a t-shirt, and you see here, you don't see the face, same thing with Rapture, the next one. There's like one with Rapture holding some credit cards. You don't see a face, you just see hands holding are those, a credit card. Are those card. The, the, the alternate covers? No, those are the next from, because I like, you know, as I have my ways because I'm like obsessed. But <laughs> those are the next two. So the first one you see, and the second one is Ryan's t shirt, which I'm sure you've seen. And the third one is Rapture just holding That's, that a stack That almost sounds like the alternate ID. covers like they did with Dark Gem. And, and really? Really, really? Okay, really so yeah, I'm sure there will be other covers. Yeah. But this is just not, it's not even a good cover, period. Some, or some comic book stores only get one cover. So I feel like she should be more mindful of what's depicted on the cover to, to demonstrate. <laughs> you just described to me what you were just describing on the covers, me being a fan and, and knowing how the stingers are, and I'm like, 
oh, I kind of like that. Like, I would love to have just Rapture holding credit cards. Or but then you as a fan would know. But people that aren't a fan wouldn't know. That's why I think those covers are made for the fans. But let's say you're in the comic stores, you only get that one cover because not all oh, comic stores... No, you'd be surprised because I do the same thing when I go to order mines. He, I got him into the habit of saying and of asking me what covers do you want. <laughs> But not and for he, you, but for within he the puts, store. But he puts on the racks. You mean he like takes your advice within the store? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, every comic store is like that, though. Anyways, I just don't like it. I hate her. <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> you so know much. her. Right? No, but I think God I don't, because I don't know what I would say to her. Oh. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, really, it's no. like, oh, it's like the worst no. thing I can think of. I'd just be like, you're, I would be nice, but I'd be like, you know, you should be, but here's the thing, there are, there are isn't even that bad, if you go on her website, she has different depictions of her art, and this is just the worst version of it. Huh. I'm like, thanks for choosing the worst version. <laughs> oh, was, she, was she probably guided to that kind of thing? I don't know, know what happened she, in the she office. Might, I don't know. Anyways, enough about that, I'm like, going to be, it's not about this thing as well, I love it to be, so I'm going to be mindful, and again, mindful, you love this, like, you make it laugh, you laugh. Okay, what else can be said? So, what do you think, okay, what do you not like about, what do you think of Blaze, that we're having um, original characters, who, I mean, she's trans, which is cool and awesome, and um, she's original, though. Do we, are we down for original characters? Yeah. Like yes, this? yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it shakes it up. Yeah, what do you it's... think, Waven? I feel like, you're like, mm, or I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have, like, a lot of opinions, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I have mixed feelings, just like Blaze's hair. Um, <laughs> you don't like it because it's curly? It, it's red and yellow. Yeah, and you don't like that thing. No, and the, um, the mixed feelings about Blaze come from the change of leadership of the Misfits. Because Pizzazz angered the Misfits, and it's always been like that. That is such a staple as far as I'm concerned. So for that to change, it, it, it doesn't sit well at the outset, but at the same time, you're, you're seeing necessity is too strong a word. The only way to have incorporated Lays as a character to give her the presence that she's been given would have been to change where she is. So I see why they did Where she is and which way she is. As the leader of the Misfits. Okay, but she's not, you mean because because she was only temporarily the leader. Right. But now she's not. So, right. She's so, not. Wait, but I mean, because she was never the leader. She, she was never the leader. Only the, the temper to put her where she was for the time that she was there. Yeah. So you can so change how she was. If you truly, truly read the, 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 the comic, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, if you read the comic, pretty much Storm is the one who's, who has the control of the band. She pretty much discusses with, with Jen and Roxy that what if that I think I like this girl when he grows thing, blah 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 blah. It's almost like store. It's like the vice president and she makes the, the decision that But that's only really when like his ass was I mean really correct, correct. There. So she's, she's never the mind. leader. She just leads singer. So so to speak like, oh I'm the boss, I just so want you to your free voice and then back. Okay, wait, what do you want to say to oh, sorry, um, I, don't apologize. I the really interesting thing about the blaze Element because it sets up. We have the love triangle, or we had the love triangle with Rio and Jam and Jerrica. Now we have a competition triangle with okay. Pizzazz, and now Pizzazz yeah, has okay. competition with Jam, but also with Blaze. Okay, see, that's really interesting. interesting. Yeah. That is very interesting. That's kind of an interesting art. You know, yeah. So, so and more tension. In the there's so much small tension all around this comic if you really read into it because, like, there's something going on with her and Clash, or yeah. there was. Because there was that time when they're like, oh, she was so excited, and they like hugged, and then like, oh, it's mushy, and it's like five more minutes, like of hugging with like. So what happened? Because they have something, something happened between her and Clash. Oh, I think it's still happening. I think yeah. It's so, but what like, is that? So they're like giving us little hints here and there. I, I think they if they just show it that and again in the comic, if they give you a different type of not just body types, they give you type of relationship. Exactly. Exactly. You've got the mushy one with Rio and Derica. Uh, you got the I'm gonna punch in the face because I don't like what you're doing with Aja and, and Craig, and now you're getting like I love you, but uh, you're getting too clingy with Clash and Blaze. 
Yeah. So it's. It, it, but it's so subtle. I don't think it's. Even and and then the secret love with Kimber is stronger and stronger. Okay, so that, okay, based on that, and also touching upon his eyes and how she might react differently. Again, getting back to the stingers in the last <laughs> comic, where the stingers basically decided to upstage the misfits and have that pop-up show, and they got there first before the misfits could, and Pizzazz sees it, and she is not happy. So she's not like, oh, who's that lead singer? She's like, holy crap, I'm pissed. Mm. I'm that's what I wanted and that's, from the I guess, singers hit town. Right, but that's, yeah, so that's what's happening. But who's to say what's going to happen or transpire after that if you are in the Mrs. Charm? Who knows? No, I think, I think if they're going to play it along like the series, they're going to make something for just have to fall in love or get a crush on Riot. Or maybe someone else. I don't know. I feel like with all this gender, like all this like different relationships, I feel there's room for changing it up. Because like, that, that's what I was like, who is, is Ryan going to be gay? Is Ryan going to be bi? Is like, who's going to like who? Because there's so much Oh, Ryan right, yeah, would love himself, and I think he's well, going to love course. himself here, too. <laughs> well, he would always love himself, but he can be attracted to, like, different different genders, I think. Or even Minx, or even Rapture, like, who knows? Well, the, in, well in, the, in, the, in the cartoon, there was some history between Ryan and... One of them wasn't there. I mean, like, I feel like it was. I feel like it was implied that he. I feel like there was an implication that because they were they. One of them, at least one of them, loved like the had a thing with Ryan. Is it just because I love Ryan? Is it just because I love Ryan? Because that's Ryan definitely. Well, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. There's history between. Yeah. It was in the cartoon. Minx left the band that she was originally. Part of to be with Riot as yeah. far as a musician. So something, something went down. Well, they're, they're, they're always like touching right. each other. Sure. So. But I don't know that that was no. specifically to imply a romantic connection. Why not? Maybe. No, they, it, it was. Me. It's Mr. Ryan. It's um, on uh, the day the music died, they both admitted that their world is not complete without Riot. And they were like, man, man, we need to get him back, man, we need to break up with Jam. And, and I, there was, uh, what was the episode? Um, they, they revealed that they were messing up with Pizzazz and he put hugs them both and it's like, oh, I love how you guys, you know, fuck with people around, man, 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 So it's, you can tell that they're... I believe that there was definitely a connection between Riot, Rapture, and Ace, but... And you can think, again, because it's the there cartoon, was, there's a cartoon, <laughs> there's a cartoon, there's a cartoon. Yeah, like, you can't, always it's not an adult, them. right? Because it's a cartoon. Right. But there was the the nuances of that. Like, I can like definitely this. see that. There is there's something going on, like we already said, like, they're always, it's easy to see that. Right. It's easy to be led to that conclusion. They are so touchy-feely. They are the most touchy-feely band yes. out of the entire yes. series. Yes, yeah. yes. So, well, on that note, they, they yeah. hug more than the whole <laughs> rest of the show. We will forever guess <laughs> the future of <laughs> Okay. Okay. But the most important lesson, the most important lesson. We're wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up. We did a good job.